Hey everybody, what's up? It's Andrew Martin from Andrew Martin Energy here with your May 2019 update video. I hope that wherever you are, you are happy and healthy and smiling. I have to say that this month has been so weird. <laughs> it's been such a strange experience this month. I mean, fuck, this whole year has just been a weird, whopper, strange, surreal experience. And, you know, I don't think it's going to get any less weird anytime soon. <laughs> so I think more than anything, it's about learning how to ex exist and learning how to thrive within this strange, surreal, shifting environment that we live in rather than trying to stop it or, you know, yeah, put the brakes on or go back to an old way of being. We just got to accept what is. Which kind of brings me to the theme of this month's video. Don't you like that segue, how I did that? <laughs> And this month's video is all about surrender. The thing that I am very aware of lately is that nothing out here really seems to make sense right now. You know, I'm going through all these changes and as always, I can use my own experience as an example of what's going on right now. And my hope is always that my experience resonates with you. A lot of things don't make sense right now, right? It's like, one minute I have something that I think is, you know, complete and that I think is clear and that I think is true. And then the next minute I'm in the midst of some sort of chaotic experience where something is imploding or something's, you know, leaving or coming in or shifting or whatever. And it feels like we're always on this sort of moving, unstable ground. And in many ways we are, you know, right now we are going through so much on so many levels simultaneously that it doesn't make a lot of sense. And it doesn't, it's not really clear. Should I stay? Should I go? Is this supposed to be downtime and inner work or should I be moving forward and, and, you know, being active and getting my hands? in it, right? Should I be in my feminine self, which is the stillness, or should I be in my masculine self, which is sort of the active forward moving energy? You know, what, what makes sense? What is real? What is true? And I often find that if I'm stuck in my head about it, the mind just gets overwhelmed and just wants to shut it down. But the one thing, the one thing that never fails. The one thing that always makes sense, the one thing that I can always count on is that inner place where I connect to my creator self, to my true self. That inner place where I open up and allow the fullness of all that I am to emerge into my field and move into this experience called Andrew as I merge more deeply with this true self. And that is all surrender, my friends. The only way that happens is through surrender. And as a stubborn motherfucker with <laughs> a will of iron, right? My, my, once I make up my mind and I clamp down on something and I clench in and I get, you know, all of my 12,000 planets in Virgo moving in the same direction, man, you would be hard pressed to ever change my mind. And in fact, the only thing that has ever gotten me to change my mind in this life is for when I fall time and time again, when I struggle, when I suffer, when I beat my head against the wall until it is bloody and I finally go, wait a minute. Maybe there's an easier way. Maybe there's a level of awareness that have the answers that I seek. Maybe it's not out here. Maybe it's in here. Maybe it's about just being compassionate and kind with myself and just being present and allowing my experience to be what it is right now. Even when it's tough and it's scary and it's stressful and it's painful. And the only way that happens is through surrender. You know, surrender is a, a conversation that we have a lot in our spiritual experience, right? It's one of those buzzwords that we throw around all over the place, almost to the point where it's sort of lost meaning. But here's how I think of surrender. Surrender is the first step in creating something new. Surrender is the first step in change. Surrender is the first step in healing. Surrender is the first step in alchemy and transmutation. Surrender is the only way I'm ever going to get shit done. And here is what I mean. I used to have a house cleaning business years and years ago. I was a housekeeper and I had my own business. 
And surrender, when I think about and talk about the idea of surrender, this is the perfect example. When, I will, when I'm cleaning someone's home, I walk into the house and what's the first thing I do? I accept it as it is. I look around and I go, okay, dirty mirrors, dirty floors, dirty walls, dirty fridge, dirty whatever, gotta scrub that, gotta vacuum that, gotta dust that, gotta use this there, right? Until I surrender, accept, acknowledge what is in front of me, how on earth am I ever gonna make a plan for what's next? How on earth am I ever gonna find my way through it? How on earth am I ever gonna get up to that next level that is calling me forward? until I surrender to what's in front of me. Surrender doesn't mean I like it. Surrender doesn't mean I want it to continue any longer than it has to. Surrender doesn't mean that I am co-signing and saying, yes, I love this, let's do more of this. Surrender just means that I am no longer in resistance to my experience and it is resistance and only resistance that creates suffering. Pain is part of the human experience. Suffering is optional. So I talked about this video in the May, um, the May uh, Energy Transmission, the Excavating the Self, and I talked about this video and I mistakenly attributed it to Joe Dispenza, although he's amazing, but the video actually was Bruce Lipton, who I also love. Um, so Dr. Bruce Lipton, and if you are not familiar with these two gentlemen, check them out because they are really, really insightful and are creating amazing content and presenting next level information, which I believe is really the bridge between spirit and science. And they are moving in the direction that we are going to finally see and accept that there is no divide between spirit and science. We're both heading in the same direction. I digress. In this video, and I talked about this briefly in the, well, not briefly, it was actually sort of a, a big thread in the, the May video, this idea of the identity of self being a thought form. The personality is a thought form. The personality does not exist. I can't touch the personality. It's not tangible. I can't point and look at it. The personality, the concept of self, the idea of Andrew is nothing but a collection of memories and experiences. Hey, what's up? It's Andrew. Sorry to interrupt the video, but I just wanted to take this second to say, first of all, thank you for taking the time to stop by my channel and watch my videos and let you know that now, if you want to watch the whole video, you can head on over to patreon.com slash Andrew Martin Energy, and you can check it all out over there. Patreon is now the place where I am funneling all of my video content, all of my online content. Everything goes to Patreon first. So, if you are enjoying the video and you want to see the rest of it, head on over to patreon.com slash Andrew Martin Energy and sign up and you will get so many amazing things. You're going to get discounts on event tickets, both live and online events. You're going to get free tickets to certain and select events. You're going to be first in line for all ticket sales. You're going to see the entirety of every video that I create. It's going to be posted on Patreon, plus a whole lot more that I am in the midst of creating that is going to be really, really exciting. I really hope that you will come over and join the amazing community that we are building over at Patreon. Love you. Thanks for watching.